Hi friends, welcome to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and in today's episode we will learn about how to install Bootstrap in Angular application. Welcome back, my name is Sridhar. I bring over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer and I bring knowledge on modern web technology stacks. I'm here to share my knowledge with you, also to learn from you all. During the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts on the code examples or the explanations, please do reach out to me in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials for you. So please support me by liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. Thank you in advance. A lot of you have requested to, for me to create a full playlist where I will cover entirely Angular 9 tutorials from basic introduction to the complex features which I have created. There are around 40 tutorials. So I request you to kindly go through that playlist. The link is in the description box below. This tutorial will help you master Angular 9 completely. So starting today, we are covering new feature which is app forms in Angular. And you see on the screen, we'll be covering all the various topics and touching how to use forms in Angular. Today is the first uh, part of the series where we will learn how to install Bootstrap in Angular. Bootstrap has become kind of a de facto uh, framework uh, along with material design. And it's evident that you will either use Bootstrap or material design in your applications. And it's pretty easy and straightforward to install Bootstrap in our Angular applications. Make sure that you always try to be on the latest version of these frameworks. It will help you use the latest components, features from that framework. There are two ways to include Bootstrap framework in Angular application. One is through Content Delivery Network or CDN. The other is via NPM, which is Node Package Manager. We will see both these tutorials. We'll learn how to use both these ways in our application today. First, let's start with using the bootstrap via CDN, which is content delivery networks. So we have to first choose a reliable CDN network from where you can copy the links and use in our application. The links that you will choose has to be secure, has to be reliable, has to be stable. I'll be using from the bootstrap.com website so that's much reliable. And the only problem with this approach is that we will be responsible to maintain the CDN sources and versions. This approach is not generally encouraged in production environments since the URLs can keep changing. So we will learn about using NPM also in this tutorial, but first let's learn how to use with CDN. So open your application and go to index.html file. Right, in the index.html file. Once you are there, go to getbootstrap.com. That's the official website. Under the documentation in introduction, you would see quick start guide. So this is the CDN link for the style sheet. This are the CDN links for the JavaScript. So we can we have to copy both, not one, both the CSS and the JavaScript. So let's copy the CSS first and then copy all the JavaScript. So JavaScript includes Bootstrap, jQuery, and Popper.js. All right. So let's copy them as well. These JavaScripts are required for many components, including navbar, dropdown, etc. So let's copy and paste. Save. So we have imported all the CDN links, CSS, and JavaScript files. So now we are good to start our application. So once you have done it, our application should start reflecting the code that we want to see. Okay, so let's see. So here you see I've put a nav bar just to see that it's working or not. Let it compile. Just give it a minute. In the meanwhile, if you like, if you're liking the video, give a thumbs up to the video. All right, so let's refresh and we should see that the bootstrap is applied. That's why the drop downs are working in responsive also it's working. So this means both the CSS and JavaScript is applied to our application. All right. But like I said, this is not the really uh, encouraged approach. The encouraged approach is always to use with NPM 
or with some package manager. I'm using NPM. So let's see how to do that. So first I'm going to get rid of the CDN links from my code. We don't want them. So our index.html is clean. I'm going to close this here. And instead we will be using a command to run, which is npm install bootstrap jQuery popper and we'll save them. Okay. It will, we will install three packages, bootstrap, jQuery and popper, all three to work with bootstrap framework. So npm install bootstrap jQuery and popper hyphen hyphen save. Alternatively, we can also specify the version number that we want to use. For example, if your project is on old version, you can say 3.0, that's fine. If you want to use 4.2, that's fine. But if you leave it as it is, it will install the latest version. Let's hit enter. It will install our packages. This may take a minute or so, so have patience. In the meanwhile, if you want, you can like the video and also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on the other tutorials I will publish. All right. So once we see this step is completed, we should see an entry in our package.json about the packages that are installed. And I will tell you one important thing that has to be done, which is once you have done this, you will see that these packages are added in your package.json file. But remember that if you do not do this last step, it will not work, which is to import the styles and scripts in our angular.json file. Without this step, it will not work. I will show you that in just a bit. So now we see that there are three packages installed with version numbers 4.5 for bootstrap, jQuery 3.5, popper 1.0. Now go to package.json and we see that these three are added bootstrap jquery and popper right so the packages are installed so the next step now is to go to our angular.json angular.json file and under the architect inside the build we will inst we will write the path of styles and scripts let's include them so here we are including the CSS file, the jQuery and the bootstrap min.js, right? So the, we have imported our scripts. We have imported our bootstrap CSS. Nice. So now let's start it and we should see the application now using all of this and not the CDNs. Right. Let's open our app. So you see it's there is no style right now. Let it compile and we should see our bootstrap framework getting applied in our application. All right, so application is compiled. Let's refresh. So now we see that bootstrap dropdowns are working. That means JavaScript is enabled and we can see the CSS. So which means the style is also applied. So this says that our bootstrap is ready to be, is now installed and imported and is ready to use in our application. Right now, this is the what we just did, which is to import the styles in our application and the scripts. So, so what are some of the common mistakes that happen? So the common mistakes that happen while installing Bootstrap are uh, the wrong path of style and scripts. So if you see here in the angular.json, you have to mention node modules. Now you have to see where your node modules is installed. Sometimes uh, in some projects, they map it one level up, right? So make sure that you don't do that mistake or given giving imp wrong uh, path. That's very, very important. So if something is not working, first check for the path of node modules. Once you do that, you, your major problem will be solved. The other uh, issues that we run into are the links for CDNs are sometimes outdated if you are using CDN method. So make sure you check for that. Uh, versioning number, if you sometimes install wrong versions which are not there, it may lead into issues. So these are the common mistakes that uh, developers make while installing Bootstrap. I hope you like this video. Give a thumbs up. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 
In the next tutorial, I'm going to cover how to install material design in Angular app, and then we will start using the forms. So we will use these two frameworks in our forms. That's why it's important to learn how to install them. So see you in the next episode where we will learn about uh, installing material design. Thank you so much.